in the super cool geometry problem, we've got this square ABCD. And this full circle is tightly fitted into the square. It's overlapping with this quarter circle, also fitted inside the same square. And they intersect at these points. The only distance we know is the side length of the big square, which is 4 times root 2. And we are asked to find the area of this purple region in the middle. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let this point O be the center of the big square, and the center of the inscribed full circle. We can draw this diagonal for the big square, which cuts the entire diagram into two identical parts like this. And it also bisects this line segment here into two, and we'll call each part A over 2. And it bisects this one too, and we'll call each half B over 2. Now let's go to this full circle and draw a radius here, and we'll call it R. Now this distance is a chord for the same full circle, and we already know that it is cut into two equal halves by this radius. Now we've got this rule in geometry that says, when a circle's chord is bisected by its radius, the angle between them must be 90 degrees. So we can deduce that we've got a right angle over here, and this one's also a chord for the same circle, and this radius bisects it. So this angle must be 90 degrees too. Now we've got two right angles on the same line. And that tells us these two line segments are parallel. And that this shape is a trapezoid because it's a quadrilateral with two parallel sides. So let's keep this information up here. Now this is the formula for a trapezoid's area. These two sides are A and B. And this height in the middle is H. We are going to come back to this. But before we do, we need to draw this diameter here, and it's obvious that it equals 2r. Now let's project it onto here, and it becomes clear that 2r equals 4 times radical 2, and r equals 2 times radical 2. Next, we draw these two radii here, and these two angles are right angles, because they are at the points of tangency, and this is a right angle too, because it's in the corner of the square. We can conclude that we've got a square here, and this line is its diagonal. Now, a square's diagonal length is always root 2 times its side length. And we know r is 2 times root 2. So let's substitute this r with that. And the diagonal turns out to be 4, which is actually the side b of the purple trapezoid. So let's change this b to 4. Now let's go back to this square. This diagonal is 4. So if we draw another diagonal like this, it will also be 4. Now let's take this 4 times radical 2 and project it down here. And it's clear that this distance is the radius of this big quarter circle. So we can draw another radius here, and it will also be 4 times radical 2. Now let's draw this radius for the full circle, such that it meets the quarter circle's radius at this point. And we know the full circle's radius is 2 times root 2. Now we've got this absolutely crazy triangle here, and we're gonna label this angle alpha. Next, I'm gonna show you an amazing trick formula called the law of cosines. Let's say we have a triangle like this. Now we can use this formula to calculate the cosine of any of its angles. This A is the side opposite the angle we want to find. We're trying to find the cosine of this angle. So this one is the side A. And we're gonna replace this A squared with 4 times root 2 squared, which equals 32. And B and C are the sides adjacent to the angle alpha. So in our triangle, A and B are these two sides, which measure 4 and 2 times root 2. So let's replace all the b's and c's with those values. And cosine alpha stays as cosine alpha, because it's what we're trying to find. Let me do the math for you. And cosine alpha turns out to be minus 1 over 2 times root 2. And if this is alpha, this angle over here must be 180 minus alpha. And according to this trigonometry rule, we can find cosine 180 minus alpha by multiplying cosine alpha by minus 1. We know what cosine alpha is, so let's put that value in here, and we find that cosine 180 minus alpha is 1 over 2 times radical 2. Now, we already know that this radius divides this chord into two equal parts, so this angle is a right angle, and we've got this green right triangle over here. Now, let's call this side x, and we'll use the cosine function to find its length. The cosine of an angle equals the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. That is the longest side of a right triangle. Our angle is 180 minus alpha. And we know that its cosine is 1 over 2 times root 2. So we can replace this with that. And the side that is adjacent to the angle is x. So let's change this to x. And finally the hypotenuse is 2 times radical 2. So let's change this to that. And it is clear from this equation that x is 1. And we can change this x to 1. 
Now we know this distance over here is the side A of the purple trapezoid and this radius cuts the side A into two equal halves. Having said that, we can go back to our right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem which states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle equals the square of the hypotenuse. These are the legs in our right triangle, so let's take their squares like this. And this is the hypotenuse, so let's take its square as well. And I think I'll do the math so that you don't get bored. And you know what, I actually made a mistake when doing this, but fortunately I noticed something was wrong. And I made this part of the video again. Making this video is actually super hard, because I feel like I will become a laughing stock if I make a mistake. Anyway, A turns out to be 2 times root 7. We have found the side A of the purple trapezoid, and we can now change this A to 2 times root 7. And I think I'll move this equation to a better place. Now this part simplifies to this. And now the only thing we need to find is this H, which is the height of the trapezoid. And we already know that we have a square here, and this is its diagonal. Now we can draw another diagonal here. And it will cut this diagonal into two equal parts, and each part will be 2. And this distance is 1. That means we can add 1 and 2 to find that h is 3. So let's put 3 instead of this h. And I'm trying to teach my son the distributive property. So I'll let him distribute this 3 as an exercise. Go ahead, son. Hello, everyone. I will multiply everything inside the brackets by 3. First, I multiply radical 7 by 3 and we can't really turn it to something. So it stays like this. And then I multiply 2 by 3 and we get 6. And the purple trapezoid area is 3 times radical 7 plus 6. And that was way too easy. Thank you, son. So there we are, people. We found the purple region's area and it's 3 times radical 7 plus 6. If you watched this far, you must have enjoyed this video, so please consider pushing the like button. And if you're not subscribed, perhaps you should do so now, so that you don't miss our future videos. Anyway, have a nice day and see you soon.